Hello everybody, my name is Science1324, and today I'm going to show you how I turned this old TV set into an audio visualizer. Now, just to be clear, I would not advise you doing this at home unless you've had experience with high voltage electricity. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now obviously the first thing I had to find was an old TV set, and luckily I had this one just lying around the house that nobody was using. Once I had determined that nobody would be missing this TV set, I went ahead and looked at the back of the TV and found all the screws. This one had two on either side and three on the back that needed to come out before I could take the back off. Once I had pulled all the screws out, I went ahead and pulled the back off of the TV, and then I set it aside for later. Once the back was out of the way, I could see all of the electronics inside of it, and I went ahead and found where the wires plugged into the coils that control the electron beam. Then I turned the TV on just to make sure it still worked. After checking that it still worked, I went ahead and I unplugged it from the wall, took a screwdriver, and shorted out all of the capacitors to make sure there wasn't any leftover charge, and then I unplugged one of the coils. After unplugging one of the coils, I went ahead and plugged the TV back in and then turned it on to make sure that I had unplugged the right coil. And in this case, I did. I wanted to unplug the horizontal control coil. After making sure that I had unplugged the right coil, I attached my frequency generator up to the posts for the horizontal control coil on the back of the television. Then I turned on my frequency generator and adjusted it to a random frequency. Then I turned the TV on and I adjusted the frequency, and as I changed the frequency around, I was able to create different patterns on the screen and make that line on the screen do different things. Eventually, I was able to find the right frequency to make it stand still on the screen and show the square waves that were coming out of the frequency generator. Now looking at it, it didn't really look much like an oscilloscope or an audio visualizer. So, the next step was to turn the TV on its side. There we go, that made it look a lot better. After turning it on its side, all I did was take some wires from an old speaker output and I wired them up to the horizontal control coil. And then as soon as I turn the audio on, you see what's on the screen now. And that's all I did to create this audio visualizer out of an old TV set. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing, especially if you want to see more tutorials like this.